to be able to monitor you guys, uh, feel free to comment below. Um, I'm going to be monitoring you here. So if anybody has any questions or comments um, or tips on exfoliating, then um, I'll be able to see them on my Facebook. So I'm just pulling it up. So give me one second. There we go. Awesome. Okay. So exfoliation, whether you do it or you don't do it, there's a lot of benefits to it. It helps to smooth out your complexion so that your makeup will go on smoother. It also will brighten your complexion. It's going to increase circulation because anytime you're sloughing off the dead skin cells, you're going to brighten your complexion and increase circulation. And because you're removing a layer of dead skin cells, anything you put on your skin is going to absorb much faster, much deeper, and you're going to get better results from it. So if you're using things that are really uh, beneficial for your skin, you're going to get more bang for your buck if you exfoliate on a regular process or regular schedule. So what does an exfoliation process look like or exfoliation schedule look like? It's going to vary for different people. Um, so if you have super sensitive skin, you might want to exfoliate or do some sort of exfoliation once a week or maybe once every two weeks. If you're someone that has skin that's um, a little, not as sensitive and you can exfoliate a little more often, you can do one or two different practices every week. And by practices, I'm gonna show you three different things that you can do that's gonna help exfoliate. So first off, I want to um, dermaplane my skin. So dermaplaning is when you take, I, I've gone to an, uh, an esthetician and I had dermaplaning done as a treatment. And when I went, I fell in love with what my skin looked like afterwards, but being the do-it-yourself kind of girl, I really wanted to be able to bring this home and do it for myself. So I've done this before on Facebook um, and it's really kind of fun and interesting. So I thought I would do it again because it is an exfoliation technique that if you had it professionally done would probably be a little bit more deeper of an exfoliation, but I like doing it myself because I can do it as often as I want and I can do it in the privacy of my own home and the convenience of my own schedule. So what I have here is a blade and it's actually an eyebrow razor that I'm using. And this one, I'll post the link when I'm done that you can go check this out, but I got these on Amazon. They're not expensive and they're sharp, but they're not sharp enough um, to cause a lot of nicks or any real, real problems, especially for a beginner. So when you're beginning, I would suggest using something like this. Um, but you do want to take safety precautions, of course, keep them away from your kids um, and don't let, because they are a razor. Um, they're just not like a super, super sharp razor. All right. So let me see. I want to make sure I don't have, I can get my comments up. So, all right. So first off, let me put my hair back. And um, I probably won't do this as long just because I'm on Facebook. But so I, I take the blade and I will hold my skin. And what this does is that little peach fuzz that you, you have on your skin, it helps to remove that peach fuzz. And it will really, really, really smooth out your skin as it's taking off and exfoliating that top layer. I don't know if you can hear it as I'm doing it. Um, I'm not causing enough damage. Like it's not scraping my skin to the point where it's raw. You will see a little bit of redness because I'm going um, hard enough that I feel the blade and I can see that peach fuzz. Now, a lot of people are concerned that when you remove that peach fuzz, um, that it's gonna grow back darker or thicker, and it really doesn't. I've been doing this for probably six months, um, and all the literature that I've read and all of my own experience is that that fuzz on your face does not grow back any thicker. So um, I literally just go around my entire face. I will do this exfoliation technique once every two to three weeks. So it kind of depends on my schedule where I'm at. But I mean, notice how little this blade is. If I'm going on vacation and I haven't had time to do it, I literally will take this with me. And you don't have to spend a lot of time doing it. 
If you're gonna do it once every two weeks, it doesn't take as long. But it really does brighten up your um, complexion. And as you're doing this, I don't know if you can see, there's a lot of little fuzz on there. Um, as you're doing this, you can feel the circulation. It's really like that scraping is really um, increasing the circulation. If you have any breakouts, you want to just avoid as much as possible the direct um, scraping above the breakout. You guys have any questions? Let's see. Um, <laughs> oh, Debbie. Thank you, Debbie. You're amazing. <laughs> I just want to make sure nobody, if you guys have questions, put them up there. I'm um, post them. I love questions. I love interacting. And sometimes it sparks something for me um, to talk about as I'm doing this. So you can use this as um, to actually shape your eyebrows, which is really what it's for. And um, I just realized that I need to do that as well. But if you notice, it's not really, it's causing a little bit of redness on my skin. So it's exfoliating, increasing circulation. Um, you can do your upper lip. Your chin. So what I'm gonna notice here when I'm done is that my skin's gonna feel smoother. My makeup will apply a lot easier um, because there's no peach fuzz. And anything that I put on my skin is gonna absorb really, really quickly. Um, so you can do your nose. Sometimes it's a little tricky to do your nose. And you get pretty good at doing this. Once you get comfortable with the blade and the fact that it's not super, super sharp, it's more of a uh, scraping technique than anything. Um, you get pretty comfortable with it. Okay, so that didn't take too long. Um, that's about as much time as I normally would take doing it. Um, I might go into a little bit more detail or just pay a little bit more attention. It's hard to do six things at once right now. Um, but that's the first technique that I use. So I will post a link of these uh, little razors that I use if you're interested in that. And like I said, I do that about every two to three weeks and it doesn't take long. I do it usually before I go to bed. Um, and that way when I put something on at night, it really can soak in. So the next thing I wanna show you is um, washing my face. So Quiver is a sonic facial cleanser. This is a silicone head. This is a one-time purchase. You do not need to replace the head, these, uh, the silicone brush. This will not wear out. So this is all one piece. It's waterproof. You can take it in the shower with you. We are taking pre-orders right now. We have a limited supply of pre-orders right now. This device um, is really easy to use. It helps to exfoliate. So I use this every day. It takes about two minutes every day. There's two ways you can use it. I'm going to show you both, both ways. The one, one way is for a cleansing. So it's going to, as it vibrates, I'm gonna turn it on so you can kind of hear. So there's a button right here to turn it on. When you turn it on, it turns on to the medium setting. You have controls on both sides. You can turn it up by seven. So there's about 15 different settings on this. So you can hear the vibration got a little bit faster um, and you can feel it vibrating when you're touching it on your skin. You can lower it going negative all the way down to a very light vibration. So if you have sensitive skin, this was actually designed for all skin types. And at the lower setting, what I suggest for people with really sensitive skin, you can use it for acne. It's really good for acne. It's really good for rosacea. It in increases circulation. It helps increase the absorption of whatever you put on. It deep cleanses because as it's vibrating, it's helping to clean out your pores and rid yourself of um, makeup and dirt and things like that. So this device is multifunctional and waterproof. Two minutes, two sides. So let me show you the sides. So the silicone brush has three different consistencies. So the front of it has this, I'm going to shut it off for a second, has 
really thin bristles. Um, and what I suggest for people with so, uh, sensitive skin is to lower the power down as low as you can the first time or the first two or three times you use it until you're comfortable with how it feels on your skin and how your skin reacts to it. Um, and then you can slowly increase the power as your skin tolerates it. But this is really soft. It's not hard. It's not scratchy. It's extremely soft and um, really powerful. So in the center, this is what I like to use for my cleanser. I'll put my cleanser and I'll demonstrate, put it on my face, use this part. The little tip up here has a section that has a little bit, it's different sized bristles. And this is more for troubled areas if you have a breakout or an area that you have more wrinkles or fine lines, you can actually hold that section with those bristles and as they're vibrating, they're gonna be stimulating the circulation of that area. They're also stimulating the muscles underneath, so it really helps. Um, the opposite side, and there's no right or wrong, you can use either side for anything, but the, the back side has larger bristles on it, and I like to use that when I'm all done and I'm putting my face serum on. It's gonna help vibrate and it's gonna help the absorption of that face serum into your skin much quicker. So this side is the side I use for washing. So I'm gonna do a demonstration. Here's the box. This is what the box looks like for Quiver. And um, it's all inclusive. All you get, all you need is, this is a USB charging cord. This comes with it. One charge, you just charge it up when you get it. One charge will last approximately 200 uses. It takes about two minutes. I, I usually take it in the shower with me. I wash my face in the shower, use it for two minutes while I'm washing my face. It feels really good. And it actually makes your skin and your face tingle. When you get out, you just, you're just happy. You feel so happy. And after I'm done, multi, more than one person can use this because the silicone is, I mean, you, just, you can wash it. You just rinse it off with water. Um, so my husband can use this. Your kids can use this. You only need one for the family. And then when I'm done, I'll take it out, I'll dry it off. And then when I put my face moisturizer or my serum on, I'll use the opposite side as well. So one charge, it's um, very convenient. I take it with me on vacation, put it in your bag, really, really small. So I'm gonna do a demonstration of how um, you would use Quiver to wash your face. And like I said, this is the second tool that I would use for exfoliating. This is something I would do every single day. It um, is very gentle and it will help exfoliate, it will help de-cleanse, it will help improve circulation. Um, it's really great for anti-aging, an anti-aging tool. And as you're using it, I'm gonna show you, but you kinda wanna guide the quiver the direction you want your face. So you don't want your face like this because you don't want the wrinkles and everything to sag. So you want your face to be lifted, almost like a facelift. So you want to guide this, the quiver, in the direction that you want your skin. So I have my Earth Face Wash. This is one of my favorites and it contains clay and clay also will help detoxify and exfoliate. So there's a little bit of exfoliation in the um, Earth Face Wash. So I just wet my hand. I'm going to put, and I can feel that I exfoliated. Now you don't have to do all three of these because uh, I have one more method for you. Um, you don't have to do all three of these methods um, for exfoliating, but this is the second method of exfoliation um, that I'm doing. All right, so you can dip your quiver right in the water, in the shower, it's waterproof. I'm gonna use this smaller pad, um, the bristles on the smaller side, and just continuously move it. And as I'm washing or as I'm moving it around, it is vibrating the pores and helping to work the cleanser into your skin and deep cleanse. It's also exfoliating. You can feel it rubbing. Now notice when I'm pulling down, I'm not, when I'm coming down, I'm not really pulling down. I'm gliding down and I'm more pushing up, gliding down, pushing up. And you want to do that everywhere on your face, including above your eyebrows. That's going to help. So it's a gliding down, pushing up, gliding down, pushing up. That's going to help um, keep your face lifted, if you will. All right, so all the way around. I would do this for about two minutes. And really, by the time you get all the way around your face, if you're doing it um, without rushing, you're about two minutes. So right here, I'm 
right under my eye and your tissue is really delicate there. So what I like to do is just put it and hold it under my eye. This also will help stimulate your own collagen production. So, um, and collagen will help you look younger, feel younger um, and keep your skin more toned. So I like to hold it just under there. You never wanna really drag your skin under your eye. All right, so here's another on the other side. I just wanna do both sides. All right. And then any trouble areas, that little spot um, too. I always get that little you know, line right here. Um, so I always like to make sure that I pay special attention anywhere that I have any areas that are starting to show signs of aging. All right. So once you're done, it does help um, with acne. Like I said, it does help with blackheads and it does help with rosacea. If you guys have any questions, I don't know if it's not updating. Do you see any questions on there? Okay. Sometimes my um, computer doesn't update. So, and then um, if you want to pre-order Quiver, Quiver is available with a limited supply pre-order. It's quiverfacialspa.com. We'll post that as well. The pre-orders, we're taking pre-orders until June 30th. So um, only another two days um, or until they run out. So I'm gonna just rinse off my earth face wash. There's one question. Oh, what's the question? Uh, Petra asks, does the face, does the, the hair on your face grow faster and darker? No. <laughs> And I'm assuming you're talking from when I exfoliated with the 10 blade. No, I, um, there's literature out there that says it won't. And I can tell you from experience that it does not. When the hair grows back, the, the peach fuzz, I, I hesitate to call it hair because then you're thinking like, oh, you're going to end up with a beard, right? When the peach fuzz grows back, it's no different than what you shaved off. So if it's really light and thin, which is usually what it is, that's how it grows back. What I shaved off, I've been doing this for about six months. What I shaved off was really light, really thin. You can't even really see it, but you can tell a difference when you're done. You can probably see a little bit of redness to my skin. Um, as I exfoliated off that peach fuzz, I also took with it that top layer of dead skin cells. So it opened up my skin. I can totally feel a difference in my skin um, and what I'm putting on. All right, so the next thing I wanna show you guys, the third way that you can exfoliate is by using something that's gently abrasive on your skin. And what I like to use is, um, I have two different exfoliations, today exfo exfoliators. Today I'm gonna show you the Dirty X Sweet Revenge. This is probably one of our most popular products. I made this because I absolutely loved the way my skin felt after I started playing around with this type of recipe. So it's a sugar oil scrub. So the sugar itself, and it has a little bit of caffeine in it too. So the caffeine helps to boost circulation and uh, tone your skin. But the sugar is a gentle exfoliation and the oil nourishes. So sometimes after you do this, you can use this two or three different ways. You can use it strictly like I'm doing it after I wash my face. Then you can either skip your moisturizer because it's an oil base and the oil totally nourishes your skin and, and you feel really soft. Um, you can also use this almost like an oil cleanse. You can use it in place of cleansing because the sugar and the oil and the friction that you're creating is actually going to um, cleanse your skin. So you can use it either way. Um, I'm just gonna show it to you today more for what it is, how to use it and the exfoliation. So I don't know if you can see in here what it looks like. So it's a consistency of sugar and water and those white chunks, if you ever get white chunks, don't look at it and go, ooh, what's that? Go, oh my gosh, I'm so excited I got white chunks. The white chunks are the caffeine. So I get super excited when I see a big chunk of caffeine and I literally will squeeze it between my finger and like as much as I can, I will like rub it into my skin because the caffeine is amazing. So basically what you do, it comes with a scoop. Um, I don't have a scoop in front of me, but I would scoop, you don't need a whole lot. I would scoop probably about a teaspoon size into my hand and my hands are wet. They do or don't have to be wet. And then just rub it between your fingers and then massage it across your face. This really tingles because I just got done exfoliating. So this is really um, like 
a double step that I don't need to do, but I really wanted to show you guys three alternatives. So my routine looks like this. Every day I quiver because quiver is so easy. It's really convenient. It takes two minutes and you're, you're washing your face anyway. So every day I quiver about one to two times a week, I will ex exfoliate with the dirty X sweet revenge or the dirty X at midnight. And then every two to three weeks, I will do the dermaplaning or exfoliating with that razor. So that's what my exfoliation program looks like for myself. And it, tends to keep my skin looking younger and fresher. It helps my makeup go on smoother um, and it just boosts the circulation. So you can't go wrong when you're boosting circulation, boosting collagen production. And when you think about it, anytime with all, all three of these methods, there's one common thing that I'm doing besides exfoliating and it's really the motion of massaging. So the same thing happens with the quiver um, when you're massaging something like the Dirty X Sweet Revenge in, you want to kind of massage it so that you're pushing up and just dragging down. You really want to train your skin and not pull against. The collagen fibers are so important and all the little structures in your skin, the ceramides and everything, you really want to be able to keep all of those structures in place. So you don't want to pull down. You just want to push up. And if you come down, you, it's just, just more of a drag. Okay. So there I am. And it tastes good too. I'm not a real sugar girl, but I do love Dirty Up Sweet Revenge. It smells really good. It leaves your skin super, super soft. So typically when I'm done with my Sweet Revenge, if this was my typical routine, I would probably, um, I, it would depend. I would either put a, a light serum on my face. Sometimes I like to put vitamin C serum on just because it absorbs really good and it's got so many good uh, antioxidants. Um, sometimes I'll just skip it. If my skin feels really good with this, and right now it does, I would just skip it and go about my day. And then before I go to bed, maybe I would throw something on my, my skin, but you don't necessarily have to. When will they be shipped? So. We have some quivers in stock. So if you're pre-ordering now, we're shipping them as we have them um, while supplies last. So if you order today, it will probably ship out within the next two to three business days. So yeah, these, these things are going fast. So um, pre-order is the key. And it's also 40% off when you're pre-ordering. So you're getting a good deal um, by pre-ordering. All right, so next. So that was my three steps, my three different tips for um, exfoliating. You've got your dermaplaning, which is simple and easy to use. Just be careful. It is a blade. So you just want to be really careful the first time you're doing it until you're comfortable with it. I will put a link for this. Um, quiver pre-order. This is a daily exfoliation. I do it twice a day because it's so easy um, and you're washing your face anyway. I, I do it in the shower in the morning. And then when I'm going to bed at night, I do the same thing. I wash with it and I put my serum on with it. I totally tell a difference. And then as well is the Dirty X Sweet Revenge is another way that you can exfoliate. Um, and that way you get on some sort of routine and your skin is always feeling that extra circulation and that extra boost. So, all right, the next way to use Quiver, this is the coffee bean serum. Um, I love the coffee bean serum. So the coffee bean is made from green coffee and it has a lot of antioxidants that are really good for your skin. Um, it, it boosts it with a little bit of caffeine as well. Your skin loves caffeine. It, uh, caffeine will do for your skin exactly what it does for your energy level. It gives it that boost. So um, the coffee bean with just a little bit of collagen built into this um, really does great with quiver and after exfoliating. So I'm going to put it in. It smells delicious. Oh. So I usually use coffee bean in the morning because the coffee smell just perks me up anyway. I, I do love coffee. I have to admit, so I will just put, so there's a drop on my one cheek. I'm squirting it all over because this is a new bottle. All right, so I just apply one drop on each cheek, one on my chin, and then I probably did not need to apply this much only because I just exfoliated with Dirty X Sweet Revenge and that's kind of an oil base or it is an oil base. So I probably have more than what I would need on. I could have used just two squirts, but I want you guys to be able to see it. 
So I'm going to use Quiver. I'm going, here's the plug too. So this is how you charge it. You literally, right there, you plug in, where did my plug go? So you just plug this in right here, charge it when you first get it, charge it for two or three hours, and then it should be good to go for like 200 uses, which really could be three months. Uh, and then this just gets plugged in. You can plug it into your laptop, your computer, or just any kind of um, USB type port. So I'm gonna turn it on and you can use whatever setting you want. Sometimes I like it on a little bit lower of a setting. I'm just gonna leave it neutral right now, but you can turn it up or turn it down. And then I'm gonna use the bigger pad, but you can play around with it. There's no right or wrong. And if you have any, like I said, any areas where you really wanna concentrate that uh, vibration, if you use that little pad, the touch pad up here, this is like your best friend. This is like anti-aging um, on Quiver, like right here, that's amazing. So I'm just going to do the same thing I did. And this is just really gentle. You're not trying to like force the serum all over your face, you've already applied it. You're literally just kind of vibrating it so that your skin will absorb it a little bit quicker and deeper. It's gonna penetrate deeper. Since I've exfoliated, it's really going to penetrate deeper. It's gonna, I'm gonna get more bang for my buck. So, and I, I just gently go over my entire face. It feels really good. Right now it's all tingly and happy. Hey guys, I think what I'm going to do. So on Monday, our quivers, a, a shipment of our quivers came in and um, I love my staff so much. Everybody's so amazing here at Primal Life Organics that I walked around and we gave everybody a quiver to take home so that they could try it because everybody was really excited. So I think when I'm done here, I might walk around Facebook live and um, have everybody tell you, cause the next day they were so excited about quiver. So I'm gonna, you know, I can sit here and tell you all about the benefits and everything, but it's really fun to, to see the excitement when they're using it. So, or since they've used it. In fact, one of the girls, um, Paula in customer service, her mother saw the package, took it and basically confiscated quiver and was like, you don't really want that, right? Like I can share it with you, right? <laughs> so it's kind of funny. All right. So don't, ignore your neck. This is the perfect time. You can do this on your neck when you're washing as well. Like in the shower, I usually do my neck. Um, but with your serum, you can also rub it on your neck. That's totally gonna not hurt. So, all right. Do you guys have any questions? I don't see any questions, but I don't always, my screen doesn't always update. So So Claire, I, I'm not 100% familiar with Claire Sonic, but I think I think I don't I don't really want to say only because I don't know the Claire Sonic. I know Quiver does not. It's a silicone brush. There's no need to replace any parts to this. It's all waterproof, all one piece, and you do not have to replace the silicone, so it's not going to wear out. So. Um, I can't really speak to the Claire Sonic. I'm not exactly sure because I'm not familiar with it. So I've never used it. I fell in love with Quiver because of the convenience, because what it does and the silicone is really soft and gentle. And it does exactly what I want it to do. I designed it to help facilitate the absorption of what you're putting on your skin to help exfoliate and to help cleanse, deep cleanse your skin. So um, if you guys have questions, please comment because I will come back to answer them, but join me in about 10 minutes if you can, so you can get firsthand the reaction of uh, some of the PLO staff and um, what they think about Quiver. So, all right, thanks guys. And um, to pre-order your Quiver, go to quiverfacialspa.com. You can find, I, I will post the link to the blade. And I will also post a link to the um, Sweet Revenge if you're interested in that. So thanks, guys. And I'll be watching. Have a great day.